Hi guys, I hope you are all still sane in this COVID-19 quarantine period. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep clean. Okay, today I'm going to do a review about this fountain pen from Stadler. The type is Inisium. The box is nothing special. Just open it by sliding it like that and there's another box inside. Uh, with this string, nothing special with the box also. And there you go, you see the pen straight away. And you take out this slit. And you will have, oh, uh, I still keep the receipt from the place that I bought. I bought this from CN Square uh, in Hong Kong. It's a Nathan Road 507 in Yaomate. You can Google it. Just Google CN Square and it will take you there. This is actually the first time I bought for this serious kind of price. I got it for 1,251 Hong Kong dollar. But then again, I'm lucky at that time. I have a company trip allowance for 800. So yeah, I'll I just pay for 451 with my own money. And you have this worldwide warranty and care instruction, blah, 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 nothing special. Uh, Stadler Indicium collection, I think this is a catalog. Yep, it's a catalog of their full Indicium uh, range. So they have the plastic one, the wood one, the metal one, the one that I bought. They have the mechanical pencil, the ball pen version of it, the leather one, and how to fill it. And this is how to take care of your writing instrument. Okay, that's it for the packaging. Since this is a quarantine period and I don't have a ruler or caliper in my house, I leave it at the office. So I will instead compare it with some pens that I think quite common in the fountain pen community. This is Pilot Metropolitan. This is Pilot Heritage 91 and on the smaller side this is a Kaweco AL Sport so that's about the size comparison visually so I think size wise it's quite normal not too big not too small as for the material this is made from an aluminium this part is actually uh, they say it's hand brush it's brushed very finely it got some uh, vertical texture uh, feel quite smooth and for this part it's also made from aluminium but this is an anodized aluminium it got a quite a big clip and quite strong Stadler writing at the top here made in Germany at the bottom and nothing on the bottom side there the Stadler logo on the top of the cap so that's about the outside look of it and let's have a look on the inside. The thing that I like about this pen, it got a bulky feeling when you hold it on your hand. The cap part is like, it's quite solid. I mean, you can throw this to someone and it will hurt. An anodized aluminum on this part. For me, it's not that slippery. For some people who is sweaty, maybe it can be slippery, but then again, this anodized micro texture might actually let your finger moisture out and create a better grip for your finger. For me, I have no problem at all right, using this for quite a long period. The nib is quite simple. It's made from a stainless steel with Mars Head Statler's logo. I bought this in F size. So F size for Europe, that means medium for Asian size. As for the ink converter, I'm not really sure what type of converter are they using, but looks like an international ink converter. But then again, I have an international converter and I plug it in, it doesn't really fit. So I'm not sure if I'm wrong or something is just not the same here. Talking about the bulkiness of this pen, I like how thick is this aluminum wall for this the body part. And it gives me some a uh, very pleasing squeaky metal sound and I, I know it's weird but I really enjoy having this solid metal sound 
Okay, I have just filled this pen with this emerald sample. Uh, it was given from my good friend. I'm not sure what brand is this emerald ink is. If I Google it, uh, you will see J Herbine and I think a Pelican. So yeah, I'm not sure about what brand is this ink is. Let's try. I think the ink is not actually fully coming out yet, so that's why there's a skip. It's very uncommon for this pen to be not performing. This is one of my favorite pen. I take it daily. And I normally use uh, Hiroshizuku ink to fill this pen so again I'm not familiar with this ink uh, I'm not sure how's the character of uh, this uh, green ink the, em the unknown emerald ink that's right uh, April it's, I think this ink is kind of dry It got a little skip here and there. Yeah, I mean, as you can see here and there, there's a skip. Let's write something else. Mm. Something about this ink that <laughs> make me don't like this pen. This is my favorite pen. I think it's too dry for this pen. Yeah, there's that skip. Let me fill this with another ink and see how it goes. So uh, yeah, I drag my lazy ass downstairs and get this ink. This is the ink that I usually use for this pen. Okay, let's write now. Mm, let's do a comparison with this maneuver. I think this is the, the torture test. So as you can see with this uh, Iro Shizuku, which has got a more uh, smooth ink characteristic you can see there's a, a thinner line but not actually a skip so when you compare it to here during the starting and I think here is the thinnest line let me bring it closer to you this part here is quite thin but not skipping so Let's, let's write another text. <laughs> this is quite a lot of valley and mountain in tune. It's like the minimum trick, the, the minimum writing drill quite tricky so I hope it's clear enough for you guys to see. Mm, there's a skip there. No skip at all. A thinner line, yes, but not skip. So, skip there, skip there. No skip here. Some skipping on the A. No skipping at all. Let me do some loop drill so you can see how fast the ink can be gushed out out of the 
nip so no skip but then again I think this is the first time also I'm using this unknown emerald ink so I think this ink might have a dry characteristic to it and I don't think that's the best way to enjoy this pen I think you should use some ink like Irozizuku it got a smoother flow so the pen can give you the full potential of it let me close this review by writing you my favorite stoic quote this is from Marcus Aurelius I'm sorry, that's my dog. Okay, I hope this review is somehow useful for you, especially for you who is considering to buy this pen. Well, this pen is not perfect. It's heavy, but I like it. It got some feedback and I like it. It's made from metal, but it's not indestructible. As you can see here, there is some scratches that is not made by Stadler. It's made by my daily usage here. If you are not sure, I really recommend you to actually try this pen for yourself. I hope that's possible in the shop. Uh, once you get a feel on how it writes on your hand, then I'm sure you'll have no hesitation on whether you should buy it or not. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.